I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you multiple tap, delay effects, and reaper. Now the purpose of this video is to inspire you to create more interesting effects using delays in your music or your projects. Now typically, I would do this with a guitar, but I wanted you to see what I'm playing, so I'm going to do it with a synth. Although it'll work with any staccato instrument you use. So the synth I'm using sounds like this. So we're going to add some delay to that with different delay times so we can be more creative with our music. And we'll start off very simple and get more complex as we go. So let's start by adding a delay to the synth track. We'll go to track effects, we'll search in the filter delay, and we'll choose read delay. Although you can use any delay plugin you want. I just want to use this one because I know you have it. Double click it, and it looks like this. I'm going to adjust the wet sound to make the delay a bit lower, adjust the feedback for more repeats, adjust the filter so it's not so bright, and the high pass filter so it's not so deep. And we can see by default, it starts off being four eighth notes, which is basically a half note or half note delay. And it sounds like this. So notice how the repeat sound over time. And if we play it along with our track, if I play different rhythms, it'll trigger the sound differently. So pay attention to the notes I'm playing. As I change up the rhythm, it'll affect how the delay is triggered. Let's hear it. Again, that's just a simple delay. But let's try some other settings. If we cut it in half, it'll be two eighth notes or one quarter note, which sounds like this. But again, in the track, if I play different rhythms, it'll trigger it different ways. Let's cut it in half again. Now it's one eighth note. Again, that's just basic delays. We can change it up dramatically by using different types of delay times. Instead of just using straight times, we could use dotted notes. So if we change this to three, now it's a dotted quarter note, which sounds like this. And in the track, And if we cut it in half, again, 1.5, now it's a dotted eighth note. In the track.
again, by triggering it different ways, it makes the delay or the effect very different. And we can cut it in half again, 0.75 for a dotted 16th note. And in addition to dotted notes, we could also create triplets. If we type in 1.33 or one and a third, we're getting a quarter note triplet. And we can cut it in half again, make it 0.66 or two thirds, and it's an eighth note triplet. And it sounds like this. We're still using just one delay. We can get more interesting effects by using multiple delays, by combining different delay times at the same time. Let's pan this delay a bit to the left. Let's set it to two, which is a quarter note, and add another tap, which is another delay, and pan that one to the right, and set this one to three, which again is a dotted quarter note. So we're hearing a quarter note and a dotted quarter note at the same time, which will sound like this. It's a more interesting effect where it plays different rhythms that are nothing like what you're actually playing on your instrument. Let's try a few more. Let's keep this one at two or a quarter note, but change this one to 1.5. So now it's a quarter note and a dotted eighth note, which sounds like this. As you can tell, by combining very different delay times, you can create completely different rhythmic patterns. Let's try one more. Let's change the first one from a quarter note to an eighth note. And we'll leave the second one alone, which again is a dotted eighth note. So it sounds like this.
tell just by playing around with different rhythms, you can create an interesting and unique part that you might not think of otherwise. And obviously, we're not going to go through every combination you could think of. Just play around with it on your own and see what you come up with. So that's pretty much it. That's multi-tap, delay, effects in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!